Hi friends, welcome to this session. Today we will discuss about the some of the important functions that are used in signal and system. First of all, the rectangular function or gate function. Rectangular function, rectangular function, or it is also called gate function. Gate function. It may define as gate function may be defined as one for T belongs to minus T half to plus half or zero otherwise otherwise now we'll, if we sketch this graph this is the gate function this is the most important function that will be used in the signal and systems this is the one this is the gate function or rectangular function now we have to derive a function from gate function from gate function a g t g t y t in this function we have to derive this function from gate function how can derive now see here from the scaling this one the gate function we have learned in previous this one the gate function in this gate function the amplitude amplification will be a means the one previously the gate function amplitude is one now it's multiplied by amplify a times so here the amplitude is a now one by t the scaling factor is 1 by t so we will divide 1 by t in the whole time axis value now we will get the original function this is the amplitude of the gate function this is the t by 2 and t by 2 is 0 this function is derived from gate function original gate function whose amplitude 1 and time width is t that is equal to mathematically a g t by t this is the gate function now we will go for triangular function triangular function triangular function may be defined as this one this is a triangular function whose amplitude 1 this one is minus 1 this one is 1 this is the basic triangular function now we have to derive another function from triangular function a of triangular function t by t in this case same thing we have to multiply the amplitude by a times and time axis will be value will be divided by 1 by t 1 by t this t 1 by t why because the scaling factor is 1 by t so minus 1 by 1 by t 1 by 1 by t now the signal will be this one the amplitude will be multiplied by a and this one minus t to t this function is a um, triangular function of t by t now we'll go for another function is sampling function sampling function can be represented as mathematically sin x by x sin x sin sorry sampling function t s a of t can be represented mathematically sin of t by t the graphically it can be represented as this one this one the most important functions in signal and system and telecommunication we used this is the sampling function the value will be whenever the t value is pi or multiple of pi 1 pi 2 pi 
when the value is equal to zero but in case of at a time of zero when t equal to zero its value is equal to one if putting the limit we can get one so at the time of zero t value equal to zero its amplitude is one and other case in pi 2 pi 3 pi such that this function value at this function time value this value are 0 minus pi minus 2 pi etc now we will go for sync function sync function sync function this is also an important function sync function equal to sine of pi t divided by pi t it is similar to the sampling function but pi is multiplied with the, in the argument and the argument pi with t so the graph will be this one the sampling function this one the sampling function its value is 1 at t equal to 0 and for t equal to 1 its value is 0 for t equal to 2 its value is 0 for t equal to 3 its value is 0 similarly for minus 1 t equal to minus 1 its value equal to 0 for t equal to minus 2 its value equal to 0 for t equal to minus 3 its value equal to 0 now we'll go for signum function signum function signum function can be represented as sig no, signum function signum function this can be represented as graphically for t greater than 0 its value is 1 for t less than 0 its value is minus 1 this is the signum function see mathematically we can derive that 1 for t greater than 0 and minus 1 for t less than 0 i think this class is more informative